Why is everyone so obsessed with the price of Bitcoin? How can I convince my friends who see it as an investment that it's so much more than that? Well, there, there's really two ways of looking at this, LCJ. One is, in many cases, because the fear of missing out and the excitement that's created around bubbles, people only really notice Bitcoin and they only really talk about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, honestly, when the price is doing some kind of rally. And then the news is full of stories of people either getting rich or getting wrecked. And that attracts attention and that attention leads more people to it. So for many people, the first experience they have is as an investment asset, is a price-based focus. Now, my goal and my role has always been to say, okay, no matter how you got into this, no matter what you came for, I have a story to tell you, which is about why this matters a lot more than as an investment, as a personal investment choice, why this is a very important tool for freedom and personal empowerment, for open and free societies, open and free borders, an, an open world where everyone can participate in financial activity, why it's such an important tool for freedom and why it's so important, not just for the developed world, but even more so the other six billion, the people who don't have access to these banking facilities and financial assets. So speaking of the other six billion, one other perspective you have to have is for many people who live in desperate financial conditions where they feel trapped, where they don't have too many options, where they don't have the option to invest in different assets, where they don't have access to international markets, where they don't have access to a way of saving for the future in a currency that's not going to just collapse under inflation, or where they don't have access to foreign currency and they can't move money in and out of their country. For many of these people, price matters because price represents their own financial freedom. And so that's another very interesting perspective. But, you know, don't worry about whether your friends can be convinced or not. I would suggest you focus on your own learning, your own educational path, and they'll figure it out eventually or not. And that's okay too. Bitcoin isn't for everyone and not everyone needs it. You know, you, you often hear these uh, talking heads on TV, especially the kind of rich investment bankers, people like the heads of the big investment banks, and they said, nobody needs Bitcoin. And what they're really saying is, I don't need Bitcoin. And of course they don't. They're at the top of the pyramid of the modern financial world. And from their perspective, everything looks rosy up there. They're not at the bottom. And so why would you want a system that removes the pyramid structure if you're at the top of the pyramid. You don't see any reason why that's necessary. Of course you don't. Yeah, focus on education, focus on learning. You follow the path that works for you, get the enrichment that comes from knowledge and learning and doing something interesting, meeting new people, talking about things that are more important than money. The most important thing to remember is that there is no poorer person than a person who only has money. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to support me in my mission of educating people about Bitcoin and open blockchains all around the world and publishing free content under Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to the channel, sharing this video, as well as supporting me on patreon.com slash A-A-N-T-O-N-O-P. Thank you.